Good evening, Peter. Oh. You have 576 possible web shooter combinations. That is awesome. Woo! Shoot. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. My goal for this video is to try and replicate the homemade version of Peter Parker's web shooters. Now, first of all, I don't want anyone to try this at home. It was very dangerous, but it's something that I wanted to do, and I kind of just went after it. So, you're on your own. Do what you want. I can't control you, but I'm suggesting do not try this at home. However, for the sake of curiosity, I will provide links in the description of this video to all the parts, tools, design software, and machinery. The machine that I'm using is a three-in-one maker space. The name is Boxy. CNC mill, 3D printer, and laser engraver. The software that I'm using is Fusion 360. This is what I use to design all my 3D printed parts as well as the CNC and CAM feature. And this is actually really cool because it's a free software. You have nothing to lose. Check the description, download it. I think you'll enjoy it. I want to draw attention to the fact that Peter Parker is a maker. You can see him working on his web fluid design in a chemistry class of some sort. And also, he's hard at work with his friend in the metal shop, is what it seems, working on his web shooters. So I think that's really cool, and this is what I admire about the superhero the most, that he is smart. This build was an extreme challenge both physically and mentally, so I really hope you enjoy. Give me some slack, I'm building this out of stuff I can buy on Amazon and the hardware store. That was actually salvaged from a ratchet strap. Press this button down, it's going to spin and grab onto the rope. Attachment point to our harness so that all of the weight's being distributed onto my body as opposed to just one arm. That would be really terrible to be swinging and then you jump and fall, and you dislocate your shoulder, or however it works. I'm sure I'd find a way to hurt myself. <laughs> Threaded CO2 cartridges basically just friction fit this on and then gives me a better grip for swapping these out. I had a friend of mine from the, the podcast Unprofessional Engineering. His name is Luke, and he designed this little cap for me. There we go worked even better than I thought. Now this trigger was 3D printed as well as the little mounting bracket here. This holds both CO2 bike pumps in place so that I can have them nice and parallel so that I can have this little trigger system which is just some threaded rod that's been bent and as you can tell I'm super OCD and I had to make sure that they were like as close as possible so I'm pretty proud that they're actually like fairly identical. Now this is a quick swap, which is going to allow us to change out different types of barrels. And then I have other ones that are custom rounds that you guys suggested and then some of my own that I came up with. So go ahead and sign up for notifications so that whenever I upload my video for all the different types of Spider-Man web types, you won't miss one and maybe yours will be the one that was chosen. So leave a comment if you didn't already in the last video and check that out one out too. And I can just swap out for a different type of attachment, whether I want to shoot a net. I would like to do a taser web, but that's a, a whole project of its own. Now you can see we're getting almost all of the line in there. There's about 30 feet. I can't believe it actually almost fit all in there. What do you think? I think it'll work. Hope so at least. Go check out his channel. It makes engines and awesome stuff. Cause they don't give you a 50,000 subscriber play button. So this mofo right here made one himself out of brass. You should like melt down the silver play button and make something else, I don't know. Nah, I'll make a real silver play button with solid silver. None of that zinc. You're telling us the, it's a, it's a hoax, it's not yeah, real. Yeah, it's fake, the gold one's fake too. It's just I'm, gold plated. Yeah, I knew that. Try not to press the button while you do it. Yeah. Alright, now there's like a little magnet that kind of holds it in there. Alright, so we have our 30 feet of line. Alright, firing three, two, one. 
I got it. Oh my God, I can't believe that worked. I think it's gonna hold too. Take it from about there, put it in here, hook it on, right there. Press the button and it starts grabbing onto this thing. And then we switch it up and now it's locked in place. All right, here goes nothing. Spider-Man! <laughs> Try it again. And we're done. We're good. And we shoot another one. Win. It's actually very much a prototype. All right. So you're probably asking, how are you going to get the hook down now? Well, out of some force of God, it unlodged itself. There's almost no warpage. You can see some warpage there. Right there is where it was biting. And this isn't even the like solid one. Like this is being held on by that portion. Like I'm speechless. This, I mean, I thought that this portion was gonna fail because it's just kind of like lodged in there, which I'm blown away that this held. So as you can see, this is a prototype. A lot of you are gonna complain that this isn't real web fluid, but I mean, if you define a web, it's just a woven fiber. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a sticky liquid that turns into a solid, that's elastic, that can also be hardened and turn into a shield and a bat and a parachute. Like, it's, it's sci-fi, it's fantasy, it's like magic. So take it for what it is. I think this was pretty cool. I was really surprised this ratchet strap held because it's supposed to hold about 500 pounds. I weigh about 190. And so with the acceleration, I would assume it would have broke, but this actually held up, so I'm really happy. And just kind of having it like this was kind of risky. Ready? Yep. Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that kind of hurt. All right, so when you're done, bring this down. And you're nice. Up. And you're ready to go. Uh, uh. And you don't really care about your web, because Spider-Man doesn't give a crap about his web. He just shoots them all over the city. <laughs> uh, and then they like evaporate. That makes no sense. So we're just gonna leave this here. Uh, I think I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go ice this bruise. I bet I can still throw a punch as if I was fighting a bad guy, but at a certain point going up, so I just can't really do too much of an uppercut. But then again, Spider-Man has those like squirrel things he uses to like glide. So I don't really know how they're like there one second and then they disappear. Maybe some Stark tech has them hidden in some sort of compartment, but that's a pretty skin tight suit. It's vacuum sealed from what I can tell. There's a lot of sci-fi magic going on, especially the parachute in the back. Activating parachute. Doesn't really make any sense. So leave a comment below. Do you think this is a fail? Do you think it was a success? Shout out to Joe Kim and his channel, MakerJ101. Go check him out. Could not have done this without him. We're filming at his house. And I don't have a backwoods like this with giant trees to swing off of. So maybe next time we'll take it somewhere where it's a little bit more 
like in the city like you would an actual Spider-Man situation. We just have to figure out the legality. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe for more. I really am trying to inspire people to be creative, to make things. You don't have to be a web slinger, but maybe just do something simple to improve someone else's life and learn a new skill to help someone. That's what it's all about. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy.